right. All right. Um, Saturday, March 6th? Yeah. 6th? Maybe. Yeah, it's just the 6th. 6th, 5th, 6th, 7th area of March 2021. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we, I think we just let them just go at Kentucky and Aggie today and really kind of do some finer points. I don't know if we have to actually do a lot of teaching, other than maybe just minor tweaking. Hey, grind it out, find the holes, fix them. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think that today is a good day for that. And uh, hey, if we get through that, maybe we'll find some time to kind of work on some little unique parameters for each for each mm -hmm. student, little little personal mm -hmm. things they should watch for or try to do. And uh, you know, it's 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 good when we can sit back and we have to, and we get to say, let's just focus on the small details. Yeah. We're already at that level. Yeah, no, they they they've done really well. The things we can talk to them about already are just amazing. So very, very kind of high little 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 tiny pieces, little wrench turns. And I and I want them to come out with like that one thing they remember, you know, so that when this happens they just okay, I swear we gotta do this because anxiety and all that stuff will kind of come into play. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think we uh, just let them go. Let's beat them up for a little bit, or let them beat each other for a little so, bit. Sounds good. Go ahead and drop it. All right, let's go. Oh. All right, we want to have happy, happy Saturday, everybody. So, today I'd like just to work on kind of putting those final, final pieces on the second night. You know, from this kind of the grapple version. There are other versions from kind of punches and stuff like that. We may get into those later today um, if we can get to this kind of this first section. What I really want is I just want some really good crisp ones. And what I want us to work on right now, if I borrow Jack real quick, is you guys know all the pieces. You guys know absolutely all the pieces. You know that this has to be, there's a pull, there's an insertion of this arm, there's this step here, there's a step out on the cross, there's a little bit of a shift in the you, you know all of that. So since we've practiced it so much that way, what we've typically kind of got ourselves accustomed to is there's a stop in the middle to do evaluation. You know, you kind of get here like, oh, okay, okay, I've got this. Oh, I'm a little bit off. Oh, I got to adjust it. Oh, I got to get this. Foot. And in that, that little split second, we're not really doing full throw because we're practicing that. We're practicing going to one position, two position, three position, four positions, right? So what I want to see now is we're going to start slow. Is we're exactly is I want to see the whole thing fluid, the pull and the step, and all that goes right in all together. There's no okay. Now I can go. There's no boom. Okay, now I can go nothing like that. All right, I just want to see it complete. All right, so about Adam, so Jackson, watch. As this pulls back, this foot is going to turn, this arm is going to shoot, and this foot's going to shoot. Oh, All right, you just go. All right, fluid throughout until they're got spots on the ground. Make sense? Yep. All right, go ahead, start. Um, I've got I've got a note for you just because I've seen it happen over time. Uh, Mate, really fast. Actually, uh, can I borrow can I borrow your Kevin? Uh, how are you feeling? Healthy? <laughs> so so we're now we're practicing trying to do this in one, getting it done in one. Go ahead, grab right on. And what I'm seeing happen a lot is folks will move to the right position, but they're using their arm, to, uh, their right arm, to try to say push this up and over and uh, and create an entry there. I'm gonna, so I'm actually gonna steal a bigger pair from this because this is gonna show you just how that doesn't work out for me. Uh, if I'm emphasizing this push, even if I rotate in the right spot, what happens is I start to push myself away. And then, even if, even if I get to here, like, oh my god, I'm reaching like way up, I'm all in the wrong spot, it's all muscle from here, I'm in trouble. Um, if you want, drop this arm right out. Try to work on getting the position. Look at how easy this arm fits in if, if, you, if you've done your positions proper. Yeah? And every time you try to push this across, it's all chest and shoulder and it's pushing you away from the person when you need to be tight and close and winding as opposed to winging around. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going with that mic. If, if you keep finding yourself reaching up here or you're working your chest and shoulder, drop that arm out from your initial entrance. Keep the flow together. Get to here again. Hi. Maybe you'll have more success. Keep going. Mate. Sometimes seeing the human body in the position makes it tougher. Essentially, what I'm doing. I'm pulling Adam off to the side like this and inserting a hole 
right here. That full B, the right side of my body. Okay? From there, again, holding this side. At the very end, I readjust the pole to here, and I pull it down around it. Essentially, what's happening, I pull them outside, and stick that pole in there. I step over to here and I readjust the pole. And he goes down. So if you think about this dynamic, you realize all oh, shit, then why am I pushing? Why is the pole pushing? Why am I doing? Hold on. And that is much harder to think. That is what we were talking about a minute ago. That push. Yes. Why well, push with the pole? To put the pole in place. You just can't go pull. Pull. Just put the pole in place. Don't try to push with the pole. Pole's not strong enough. Does that make sense? Does that visual work? Make sense? Okay. Go ahead. Mate. Mate. So we gotta still go back. Let's go back to the front for a second. That hip pull, that first hip pull is a big difference. So I get out of here. Can make a big difference. If I'm like, okay, I'm feeling really good and I kind of get into here and oh, okay, kind of, I did not pull to my hip. I am about eight inches from it. I'm like, oh no, I pulled to my hip and okay, I had to get a little muscle there in the end because of the lack of this in the beginning. I'm opening up this foot, I'm pulling to my hip. He is unbelievably off balance right now. The rest of this pedal is simple. The more off balance he is, the more he is easier to throw. The more off balance he will be, will be a direct correlation to this hip pull. <laughs> if I short that, he is not that off balance. He's off balance, but I'm going to have to make up the rest of this with might and strength. But watch the adjustment from where I am right now, pulling to my hip. Press the pole, keep pulling around. It's here the whole time. My hand is here the whole time. It doesn't go anywhere else. From here, I pull on my hip. Step, still on my hip. Still on my hip. We think it's this. This is the straight pole which he pulls around. This was rope, that's how the problem. This stays hip. The pole is always right here. Please, make sure that's on the hip. That's good. So we've been throwing each other up about hours so far. Everybody feeling okay? Sure. Get the agile in, long off from that. Okay. You guys are getting, doing really, really well. Alright, you guys are doing really, really well. I mean, there's um there's some we got some yellow belts in here that are doing a very high level throw. And I like the fact you're actually kind of getting through and and, and just moving into it very well. There's not a lot of stop. That I want, that I was trying to get away from in the first stop, which is good. What I am starting to see, though, is I'm kind of starting to see that the upper body, the entrance, starting to go a little bit. You know, in favor of oh, we got to step through. Well, the, the positioning isn't right, so it's making it a little tougher. So what I want to see this time is the same deal. Slow it down a little bit. Don't stop in the middle. As this, I want this pull in this foot. Yeah. All right, I want this to be a big pull. I want this to the hip. People are getting here, and they're getting here, and they're having a muscle I really want this right to the hip. Like, lock right in. And use this foot turn and this hip boom, to get that whole thing. This then goes up on the shoulder. Here, not down on the arm. Shoulder. Now I'm in a great position to do the throw. All right, so check yourself on that initial. Go slower so we don't stop again. No. That we can't do that. Make this big. Turn this foot in. Say, ooh, just step right up. Go slow. All right, but get those points because people are starting to miss those points. Pull to the hip. Arm extended, hand on the shoulder. Foot comes through and out. All right, go slower, but work on just really fine movement. Not fat, fine and complete. Okay, make sure. Switch partners. 
And grab a drink if you need it. You've been doing a lot this A neat hour. little note. Her, her interesting comment, and I liked it, and I, and I want to bring it up to the group, was, was I'm feeling sucked into a center of gravity. So imagine I, I have Mr. Jesse here, and, uh, and I'm trying to do my throwing, and here I am. And maybe I had my entrance, it was a little sour, yeah? Uh, and then as I'm trying to go, he has absolute control of me the whole time. He has my center of gravity. I really don't like this. Well, uh, I'm worried so much about fighting this stuff again, kind of up in here, that I want to suck into my center of gravity. I want him to come to me. Fast walk into my school. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be pulling. We're going to be rotating. But we're going to take him to me. He's coming to me. Now from here, the rest of this, uh, as opposed to trying to meet his center of gravity, let them come meet yours. Let them come to you. This is the, that's, that's the feeling of this entrance is that you're sucking them into you, not running out to go to their store. Okay? Keep going. Thanks, sir. As I said, uh, Last week, you guys have graduated to a very high level of problem, which is really cool. You know, that Yoko Uji kind of coming in, not being here, but being here. One of the discussions we've had over here, and discussion we haven't had, is what about the inside thing in relationship to the person? Okay? And we've all seen this. And I've talked about this, and we've never really experienced that thing. If Adam is the further he is back on my body, remember the side being a pole, and he is going to go around, the further he is back on that, the more I have to pull him up and around to throw him over. And you all have seen it. You all have done it. I threaten to hear, I'm great, I'm in a wonderful position. I am not in a good position. I step, I go. He, his center of gravity is behind my pole side. You see that? So as this comes in, I need to Pull him around. Yep. Do you understand? Do a quick visual. Give that pole visual again. In the end, he's here. If that pole is up here, in the center of gravity right here, I have to pull him up over to then pull him down around. Right? But if I'm in a position where that pole is here, his center of gravity is already ahead of the ball. Pull around and sit there. I want him on the front of my other hip. Now we've been addressing that by this arm, by keeping this arm straight. Because if this arm is bent, he is back here, which means I will have to hook him. So if I put this arm straight, he is now right in front of this hip. And now the rest of it is simple. So I want you to pay attention to this contact point, because it will make a massive difference in the stuff that we move into shortly. If we start looking at stuff where you get on one leg, and I have him behind me, man, that, that's really hard. He was back here. If he is up here, his center of gravity in front of me, that is absolutely really simple. Where he is in relationship to your pole side, here, you have to pull him up to here to throw him. Or you get pulled up to be activated, right? Because we know he's pulling around. So if he's here in the first place, that's simple. When you look at this, as you get in here, yes, you feel like this. Get on front of this hip. This one's here, this one's here. No problem. Okay. He is now on the back of my hip. That's a problem. Can we talk about some motion that stopped? Can we do the mistake version Absolutely. again? Absolutely. Uh, so they're very imperceptible, the, but they're different. This might be hard to see on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. So you'll notice he's rotated a, he's rotated a certain amount. Uh, he's no longer rotating. As he steps in, do you see how there was no rotation as he made that final step in? And that, and that kind of left the shoulder behind somewhat. Perfect. Let's, let's yeah. roll, we'll rewind. I couldn't because he was holding me back. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, and now you continue that rotation. You can continue the progression of this arm he's as in, part of that rotation. He's in front of me. Yeah. There he is. This and this 
get in here. That's what we've been trying to basically tell you by having this. The more this comes, the more heat shifts back here. The more heat shifts back here, the more you have to throw them in the end. The more this is pulled here and this is extended here, that center of gravity comes up here, right in front of this hip. And then it's simple. Yeah, and, and, and you'll see, it's not here, right? Just as we know we need a rotation to set this up, this also occurs as part of that rotation. So please don't, don't try to make this independent from the rotation itself or, or not a part yeah. of the movement. Yeah. Here you go. That's it. it that's what we look for. I, 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 I mostly just want to make the point that that's a continuation of a circularity. It is. You need to keep. It is. There's a circularity. If you look at Adam's center of gravity, as this hole comes, as this sword comes, all this, Adam is in, again, in front of my right hip. Adam is off to the side of my right hip. Those pop, and if you look at the differences, if you guys, come on, come on, come on. This is where I ended on the second one. Adam is in a very tough position for me to throw. This is where I ended on the first one. Adam is super easy to throw right now. Hard, easy. On the side of my hip, right in front of it. Massive difference. Again, your measures are a very high level of problem. The difference between here and here, and being able to make that a unbelievably easy, successful throw, and it's still a throw. You'll still get it. You'll put a little power and pressure into it at the end, you might be able to readjust it out. Your ass, their ass will still be on the ground. Good for you. You did a great job. And most people say, oh, the greatest I can have Or very, very good. Let's make that thing great. Because that aspect, I'm telling you, to be able to have it on the front of this hip, and later on in life, will just make our life so much easier. That type of reef cannot be done if he's back here. It can't be done. Okay? And that's the stuff that we're going to. So we got to get to here. That's where we went back to look at this, because we know you guys had this, the other stuff would be simple. All right? So this time as you go through, really upset. You know that they're right here, but they're, they're in front of you, not here. And then proceed. Okay? Go ahead. And you guys are doing awesome, by the way. This is really, really high, high level stuff. You guys are doing really super good. Be very proud of yourself. All right, Mate. You guys did absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, just the things we've talked about for each one of you individually to work on. You know, Jackie working on that arm, getting that there, getting that pull, getting, getting that side, getting, getting that step out. You know, stuff like that. Just using your size and moving through. I don't know if I talked about that. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm scorching those feet. You know, you guys all got that. You know, in the end, I think if you go back and um, we looked at maybe some of the stuff from before, you know, from a month ago, you know, your improvement is incredible. Your mistakes are still really good. You know, like you'll do a thing like, ah, I'm back on my heels. Nobody would have picked that out. Nobody would have seen that. You know, but now you can actually see even the minute little mistakes and stuff that you guys do. And you guys are looking really good, super good. I mean, that's just a point. The guys with white knees can throw us at this high level um, and executing it very well. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. Um, just with that, just leave all of that. Anything? Um, I mean, uh, not too much. I hope, I, I hope that your success in, in some of these is derived from the fact that you, that you guys are understanding again the, the, the kazuchi, the principles involved in your movement, uh, the principles involved in your kamas, the posture, the, the, the continual use of rotation, uh, not bending. <laughs> you know, shoulders over knees over hips, even when you're here, or when you're here. Uh, everyone staying, staying stuck to those principles has made it much easier for us to go, okay, great, well, let's yeah. have to do this one. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's a hard thing to do. Again, I like El Bloom, a, a long time ago, it would have been this throw, and mm -hmm. uh, you guys are way past me in that. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, uh, very, very good. And Next week, we're going to be looking at, oh, Mr. Don, do you want to add anything? I think everyone's doing really well. I mean, it's, it's like a lot of what Josh is saying here, it's like that structure. It's like you don't want to go to the structure. You've got your structure, then you um, got to put yourself in the best condition possible. 
and it should be have different people training with different body types because training with Jane Lynn versus training with you, you're going to have to sit, feel, so where you are, where's that moment in time, where is your opportunity to really take advantage of it. And that's great, everyone's doing really well in this class, so please stop by and Good job. Yeah, and so next week we're going to talk about the Thai coach, all right? Which I want a lot of these principles that we've been talking about, a lot of things I've been looking at, like Gunsack and Maggie, still apply in Thai coach, all right? And I really want to that last one that we kind of touched on about where that center of gravity is in terms of making the throwing easier. I want to really like talk about that a lot next week too. We were kind of talking about through like the changes and stuff like that, you know, with the positioning, but what we're trying to accomplish, we want to kind of pull that back in. You know, so we can actually see all this hard work we've done because Dr. Navi, okay, we know Tiger, okay, maybe so we get those, boom, 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 boom. Because Tiger Coach, you can go anywhere with Tiger Coach. You can go anywhere with Tiger Navi, but Tiger Coach is even easier to go anywhere with, okay? And then uh, we'll go through the social graphic, and I think we can turn around, you know, and stuff like that. And I think that'll be a very easy transition. We kind of previewed it a little bit today, and it's not hard. You know, when you get these principles down, it's just we're just shifting the balance and the feet placement. And that's it, and just executing just a little bit differently. It has a dramatic effect change in the end, but it's not 100% completed. You guys will have 95% of that throws, you know, and it's really, really cool. Um, any questions, thoughts, observations, concerns, sentiments? You guys did awesome. Give yourself a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Very nice. Hey, you're on. It has, to, it has to be part of the same unit. It has a different effect. So when Okay, do it again, different angle, different angle, different angle, do a couple. I think it was coach that I was like, just throw me, just keep throwing me. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, I did, yeah. And it helped a lot. Well, the nice thing is it's like, it's like, so you, you, you're going to take the video of those five girls and probably pick the parts technically each one. But because, Good. But because of the cumulative effect. Okay, all right, nice, nice, nice. Very smooth. Very smooth. One more. Different angle. One more different angle. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna find my knee structures. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. nice. nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Different angle. Different angle. Good job, guys. Good job.